Hello everyone and welcome to episode 119 of this Let's Play series of Star Trek Online. My name is Winters and you are very welcome. So we are moving on to our next story mission in the Delta Quadrant story arc. We are coming near the end of the Delta Quadrant story arc. There's only about, uh, I think about a half a dozen missions left, roughly. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, let's uh, get our mission brief. The data from your mission against the Vardwar shows they're a bigger threat than we ever anticipated. Our forces are stretched thin. The Alpha Quadrant Alliance cannot fight a prolonged conflict in the Delta Quadrant. We must work to form an alliance of species here. Admiral Tuvok and Captain Kim are working on a plan and have requested your assistance. Okay, so we have to meet Admiral Tuvok in whatever that system is, which is located in Delta Quadrant. And as always, I've already flown there. Now I want to point something out about uh, the reward item for this mission. Uh, it is a hierarchy uh, science bridge officer. This is a fantastic um, reward item and this guy is definitely going on to my bridge crew because he has a space trait which is called pirate. You've probably heard me talk about this before and um, it is basically a plus damage uh, plus damage to all outgoing damage uh, basically and uh, yeah it's um, a very very good item so anyway we'll accept that mission and as always I'm gonna make a primary because that's what I like to do and we will begin the mission Okay, rendezvous with Voyager and the Rhode Island. Okay, they're around here to the right. There they are. Of course, the Rhode Island is Harry Kim's ship. Admiral Tuvok is in the conference room with the other members of the task force. Okay, so that's where we're going. Seems like we're never gonna get you that tour. Sorry. Let us begin. While the Kobali and the Benthans have agreed to join our alliance, there are many other races in the Delta Quadrant in a position to help us defeat the Vodwar. It will be up to us to show them the benefits of joining us. Seven, I would like you to contact the Cooperative. The Cooperative should be amenable to our offer. They have as much to lose as we do. Neelix, your experience as a traitor makes you an excellent choice to work with the Hazari. The Hazari? This won't be easy, but I should be able to pull it off. Captain Kim, we've arranged a meeting for you with the leaders of several Kazon sects. I don't trust the Kazon, but I'll give it my best effort. Doctor, you have experience with the Hierarchy. I would like you to infiltrate one of their ships and learn more about how they make decisions. Ooh, I have several new subroutines that will be perfect for this mission. As for you, I would like you to visit the Toure and the Octanti, and then provide support to any of the others who require it. We need allies to turn the tide of this war. We cannot fail. You can leave if you return to the transporter room, though there is some time to speak with the crew. Okay, so um, basically this is going to lead us on uh, an you know, like another batch of those um, uh, patrol missions. And why can I not... Maybe I do have to talk to them. I never thought I'd be a blah 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 blah. This is the cooperative should be a the Kazon or the Rhode Island. The Toure. Okay, now we can go to the bridge turbo lift. So yeah, uh, we're going to end up doing a number of different um, 
patrols in different systems. Um, and then... Um, Ready to beam you back to your ship, sir. While doing that, we will uh, meet up with uh, the different Voyager crew members, like Seven of Nine, Harry Kim, Neelix, the Doctor, and so on. Give orders to crew. Okay, subspace disturbance. Approach the Torre homeworld. Okay. And that's close enough. This is we don't need very well. What is the m we want? No be gone! The bot are on their way. I am what? sure of the ship is under attack. So the Torre have an alliance, apparently, or an agreement with the Vaugh. And uh, the Vaugh were have turned up. And the Torre is saying that the Vaugh will turn up any moment. But, uh, yep, you guessed it. They don't show. And uh, obviously, since we're here, uh, we're gonna kick. Bug Wars ass and uh, make some friends at the same time. Have the Thoth abandoned us? Attention any Voth ships! This is a priority emergency! We are under attack! Nobody can hear your cries in space. Your ship may be formidable. It is still no match for the Voth. We have already I chosen we'll the lies. There. This is all a deception, so you can get your hands on the secrets of underspace. I was right. You do want the secrets of our underspace corridors. What can you offer that the Voth cannot? You have given us much to think about. Upon cons It is agreeable that your efforts to recruit the Toure were successful. We are reaching out to their embassy to begin our cooperation immediately. Thank you. Okay, so now we have to pick who we want to go and um, recruit next. Uh, it honestly doesn't matter. So uh, I'm just going to pick the first one on the list and uh, yeah, we'll continue uh, like that, just going down through them. Greetings. I am on my way. Okay, let's get in range of these guys. Greetings. Uh, I've examined board all.
Hmm. This is seven of nine. I have Ambassador Red unknown. Never. It's arriving. Hmm, more ships inbound. Lower your prepare assimilated. Infected Ambassador, please deactivate. The Borg are a blight. The only course of action is exterminate. Rarick! Mask? That's deactivating. Warning. Ship is under attack. We have to disable this uh target the vessel. And we're going to attempt to save them. The crew, that is. So we get them down below 30%. And we should get a dialogue box now once Red Alert finishes. Rarick, we understand. Mesh! We knew recruiting the Oct. There, that was pretty easy, huh? Okay, let's uh, go and head for Neelix, who is. Um, who's Neelix assigned to recruit again? Um, was it the mail on? Remember. Oh, the Hazari. Oh, thank good to say the leap. Pleasure to. Then I wish you. The Benton's usually. Go to Benton's ship, okay. The Benthans keep a close eye on this system. I am high Lots just of oh. deals are made. It's here. always the. There's no way we. Good point. Will they give us? Of course we knew. What? <laughs> sure. Use Benton's satellite to lure out whoever. Some criminal. A trap? Fine. I'll kill you then. Warning. My so called. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. This guy is not going to be that difficult to take out. There we go. He is disabled. <clears throat> fine, fine. F what? Lowering. We should take our prisoner to that Benthan patrol ship. Okay, so we'll head back to those guys, and that should be the end of this one. Then we can move on to the next system. As you can see, all of these, they're, they're pretty easy. There's nothing too difficult with any of them. Only takes a couple of minutes each. The Hazaris? I don't think that's... On behalf... Oh, not so fast. Our contract specifically states that you cannot interfere in the matter of cap... And that's done. I understand I'll the... meet you back at Voyager. Okay, let's go and assist... <clears throat> Excuse me. The Doctor. Who is dealing with the hierarchy? Hello again. The hierarchy is su the ship is current. The hierarchy once corrupted my programming in an attempt to spy on Voyager. This seems fitting. These subroutines are quite useful. Perhaps I'll write a hollow novel That's about close my experiences enough. as a spy. The hierarchy is. I am. I have an idea. Um, you. Uh, uh, two hologram. Borg pro. One. Mr. Potato Head. Um, these guys are more commonly known as as well, and uh, you can see why. Holographic bomb. Target shields have failed. The Matrix is struggling to recover. Yikes! Four shields failing. Now we've got a clear shot of them. The Matrix is struggling to adapt to Shields failing. Hull integrity below 75%. Right shields failing. Rear shields 
failing. Left shield failing. Target shields have failed. Done. All integrity below Now 50%. you can finish off the bot for her. Here, let me give you a hat for some tractor mines. For All integrity down. below 25%. Okay. Oh, hey. Cover the doctor. That should be the end of that one. Excellent work. All right. Now let's go and help Harry Kim. Looks like we didn't fully heal up after that last one. Okay, so the key is on, so we can expect Glad to some see deception you. here. It's more shit. Our scout. Yes. Nelik, you were. You're telling me. Ensign Harry. I don't know. My name is. Seska. Open channel. Well, Sesson and uh, my clan has taken over a new planet. But the climate is. How unfortunate. Shields up. Red alert. I knew Kazon could hold a grudge, but not for this warning. Ship is under attack. Oh, okay. Not all threads well. We're fighting with us. Start taking. I apologize. The Kazon are very... I heard you try... Okay, so now we return to Voyager. Our success on this mission... That's it. End of the mission. As you can see, none of that was very difficult. Um, when we went to each location, I mean, we were only at each of them for a couple of minutes, and, um, you know, a bit of space combat here, there, select a few dialogue options, and that's it. You know, a pretty simple mission, really. So, um, let's uh, report in. We can hail Starfleet and get our mission reward. Admiral Tuvok sent me a report on the situation. Hopefully, the work we've done today will pay off. The Vadwar are a large threat, one that cannot be ignored. The Vadwar lost everything 900 years ago, when their enemies united against them. It shows how arrogant Gaul is that he's allowing it to happen again. Okay, and we get our Hierarchy Bridge Officer. Congratulations, and we leveled up. And this guy is definitely going on to my crew. Uh, Mr. Potato Head. Now, um, if I open up uh, do, 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 traits and I select this guy, um, we can see here, here's the trait, pirate, uh, bonus damage and perception. So uh, plus 1.5% all damage and also uh, plus 150 starship stealth, improved stealth and cloaking. Uh, that doesn't affect us. But the damage one does. It's an extra 1.5, and every little bit helps. We also do have this other starship trait, uh, Efficient, which is increases warp core efficiency plus all power levels when low power. Um, and uh, that's basically plus 7.5 starship warp core efficiency. It improves power levels when low. That one, we... we it, it doesn't really affect us. We've got good power levels, um, so yeah, that doesn't really come into effect. But um, 
the pirate one is uh, a big one. Uh, it's a very good one to have. So we've got our uh, we got Mr. Potato Head. We've got this Romulan tactical bridge officer, and we've got this Romulan tactical bridge officer. So um, that's three of the stations done. Uh, the next one that I will get um, will be a Norsican who will also have the pirate trait, and then I'll probably pick a human for the final station. Uh, Zarva here will probably get replaced with a human, and uh, we'll talk about that trait um, uh, later when we get that bridge officer. But I just wanted to show you guys. Um, the importance of uh, Mr. Potato Head there, and um, yeah, when you get him, you should definitely put him onto your space uh, bridge officer layout. Um, because if you look at his traits, he's got two space. Most bridge officers or species have four ground traits, these are ground traits, um, but this guy has two space ones, and uh, space traits are much, much harder to come to basically come by um, compared to ground traits. Ground traits are really easy to come by. All bridge officers nearly have four ground traits. Um, so yeah. Right, we'll leave it there for now. Thanks a million for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. Like button. If you have any comments, leave them below. And as always, if uh, you are new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. So until next time, um, take care. My name is Winters, and I'll see you then. Adios.